Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, working on my first cryptocurrency mining rig uh, using nice hash. Um, so I've got three graphics cards um, to put into this build, uh, two 3060 Ti's and a 1060 uh, 6 gig. Um, I know some people right now are like, oh, you're one of those minor people. Well, yeah, I enjoy it as a hobby. I've been intrigued by it, so I um, wanted to get into it. And uh, so in this video, I'm going to be putting together the mining rig frame and the build together that I just got. Figured it might be a pretty cool video, so stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do in this build is get the uh, frame put together. The mining rig frame. Uh, these are some case fans that I picked up. We'll work on those later here. Uh, but to start off, we've got our. Get that one closer for you. We've got our frame here, and so the bottom piece is. Let's go ahead and pull out some of these extra bars. Put this one here for now. Got our uh, screws, and uh, it actually came with a power switch, which I thought was really nice. Since you won't have the computer case, being able to have a switch to turn it on. And I am following my uh, super detailed instructions here. Should be simple enough, right? goodies. Bag of screws for the uh, motherboard. And then these are, I believe, then the screws to use for the rig. Then we've got the power switch. Pretty simple. Kind of nice that they supply you one of those. And then an extra piece here, which maybe will make sense later. We'll find out. And you can see the top of this has uh, little holes for all the graphics cards to be mounted on. So you won't have to add anything to any of that. Okay, we have the PCI bar installed, or the holder installed. So this is where the graphics cards will mount across the top there. Now we need to install the back strip, which is the smaller U-shaped bracket here. And this will attach onto the front. I just realized I didn't have my light on, so maybe that looks a little bit nice. Uh, more visual now. So we got the back strip on now and now we need to install the side pieces which are these two smaller brackets. So these actually mount on the inside here. Yes. So now we have the frame and then the last step is then attaching the what are they calling this? The graphics card support. And that will help support the smaller GPUs. They also give you a little bit of uh, like a foam sticky strip. I'm guessing that's something you could lay across there to kind of give a little more cushion. Um, we'll see if we need that um, in the next step with the cards. So now that we got the frame together, the next step will be to um, pull apart our existing desktop computer and to put it into here. Got the old case. <laughs> so this is actually an old Dell. Um, actually it has an i3 so it's not super old um, but it actually has three PCIe ports, two of them being 1x, um, but that's fine for mining. Um, so I actually had tested the graphics cards in here previously. Um, so this is just the old case so what I need to do is pull the components out of it. Uh, so we just get the hard drive pulled out. That takes a second. 
and we'll pull this old case fan out. Go ahead and remove all the USB headers. But it's just a plain old, plain old motherboard. Our wireless adapter, just a simple USB. So I don't have to run a cable. And now we need to unscrew the motherboard from the old case. There we go. I can reference the plug later. <clears throat> I know it goes into that last header there. So we can get rid of this case. The power supply obviously was not uh, strong enough to run graphics cards, so I actually have a different power supply. So there we go. Though. This is what we have gutted from our old machine. I just air it out a little bit here. Woo! Okay, maybe we should do this outside. Okay, so we are now ready to mount the motherboard. Move this out of the way. Bring our case. Oh. Mount back up. I did go ahead and line up all the uh, motherboard mounts. Uh, so depending on the motherboard will depend on the position of those, but it's super easy. Just find the holes that are on the motherboard, such as that. And then that's where the mounts go. Uh, they just screw into the bottom. So one more here to tighten. Screw those all the way down tight. You want them all to be even. And if you've installed a motherboard in a normal computer case, then it is the same concept. Now we will just bring in our motherboard here. Align it over top of those mounting points. Excellent. And now all we need to do is screw down the motherboard with the provided screws. They do provide you plenty of those. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And our last one. Perfect. So now we have that mounted in place. Ports coming out the back. So now we are ready to get our power supply installed. For this build, I have a. There we go. It's just an 800 watt, 80 plus bronze. So nothing too fancy, but it will work for the number of graphics cards that I'm putting into this one here. And that little metal piece from earlier, that actually goes in the back for the back of the power supply. So it answers our question as to what that was meant for. Do some cable management at some point. I'll just leave those sitting out the side for now. We'll probably bring them around the front. Now we get to the exciting part. Graphics cards mounted. So I have two 3080 Ti's and one 1060, uh, uh, six gigabyte, of course. That's the only one you can really mine on. So the 1060, actually all three of these I uh, bought off eBay. Um, yes, I bought them overpriced. <laughs> I am hoping that they'll pay for themselves here, maybe by the end of the year, maybe 10 months or so. We'll see how it goes. I'm probably not going to buy any more, um, however, until prices come back down. But I wanted to just kind of get my feet wet with some of this. So, the way these will mount on here is just simply, they just rest and they just line up the screw holes to attach them in at the back. I'm using PCIe riser boards. Um, you will need these because obviously you can't plug them all into the board. 
So I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description. Um, the case fans that I have, the uh, actually mining rig frame, and all those these riser boards, um, motherboard, all that stuff. I mean, whatever you can find that can support multiple graphics cards, and then good luck finding actual graphics cards. Uh, so I'll start mounting each one of these. So now we're ready to start hooking everything back up. Mounted the hard drive right there in the front. And so now all that's left is to just plug everything in. So first I'm going to go ahead and get these riser cards plugged in. Risers are plugged in. Now we need to get power to everything. So first thing, power to the motherboard. Power for the riser cards as well as our hard drive. So here's one for our hard drive. Nice and simple. Let's keep that fed back in here. So let's actually get these fans out. So that's what our fans look like. And so yeah, they have the plug that can go into the motherboard. We'll make sure one of those goes on there. That will make sure the computer boots okay. Since this is a Dell, it actually will stop the boot if that fan is not operable. And then yeah, we have a pass through here so we can easily get power to these fans. But they just will mount like that and we'll have it blowing air away from the case. So let's go ahead and run power to our graphics cards. So now all three of those are plugged in. And we'll use this last one to come along the back for the fans. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those fans mounted and then we'll take a look at the final build. Okay, we have it all together. It's not the prettiest, but it should be functional. Give you a little tour here and then we'll go and get it plugged on, plugged in. So yeah, there we are. We have the cases, case fans mounted here on the back. riser cards down in there so there you go uh, my first mining rig build um, I've tested the cards kind of got it configured already so I know it does work on the motherboard um, but we'll take it to the back room and uh, see if it all powers on correctly in the new build okay so I've got the rig plugged in uh, all I did was just uh, connect the power um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Connected the power. Uh, I actually realized I couldn't plug uh, the HDMI cable in because the HDMI cable is behind the fan. So, and the built-in HDMI on the motherboard did not boot. Um, but it was already set up, so I don't really need to see the desktop. Um, so it's all booted up, and it is successfully mining. So now we'll just keep an eye on it, make sure it's uh, staying at a nice cool temperature, which I think it will. So it's been running for about 10 minutes. Thermals look to be pretty good. Um, yeah, I actually have two other computers running on this too. These are actually just my main computers. Um, so yeah, the mining rig is staying. Um, let's see, that's the 3060s, so the two top ones. Yeah, so they're staying right in line with uh, my main builds. So that's good to see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, there's the completed mining rig. Um, it was fun putting it together. I'm glad you guys uh, watched. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe and uh, like the video. Really would appreciate it. It really helps me out uh, when you like the videos. So I appreciate it. And if you have any feedback or anything you'd like to see in the future, comment down below and I'll take that into consideration. So thank you guys once again for watching.